Today's video is a really exciting one for me. It is a collaboration video with Doris from Look Amazing. And if you haven't heard of Doris's channel before, it's very beauty and fashion focused. She's got incredible style and I have to say my favorite video of hers has to be her handbag collection. It is just out of this world amazing. So highly recommend that you check that out. Today we're both going to be sharing with you our MAC lipstick collection. So really, really fun. I've got about nine lipsticks in my collection, so it's quite tightly edited. They're all sort of in the same color family. Uh, but before I get into my collection, I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of a preview of Doris's video. So you can see some of the lipsticks that she'll be talking about. Hey guys, it's Doris from Look Maisie. video up here and also down below so please do go and check it out and without further ado let's get right into it so the first lipstick that I'm going to share with you guys today is actually the very first one that I ever picked up from MAC and I can't believe I've still got this in my collection. It is Viva Glam and this is a luster lipstick. It's got a pink shimmer running through it and it's very nude colored. It just adds a little bit of shimmer to your lips and a little bit of color. It's one of those ones that you can just throw in your handbag and apply without even having a mirror and I mean I kind of purchased this as my one of the first lipsticks I ever picked up actually because I wasn't really sure what to get, what color to go for, and the lady at the counter recommended this. I'm not even sure you can pick up this color anymore, but I still just really can't bear to part with it even if I don't use it that much now. Now this next shade is one that I've actually had in my handbag for the last few weeks and I have been loving using this. It is so moisturizing and so easy to use and wear and it is Shanghai Spice. And this is one of the Cream Machine formulas which I think are probably my favorite matte lipstick formula. I love the fact that they're very sheer and that very moisturizing and very glossy looking on the lips. This one is a very peach toned kind of a shade. It's got a very, very mild gold shimmer through it, which doesn't translate when worn on the lips. And again, this is one that you can just apply without needing a mirror, which I love. It's one of my favorite things. I'm a little bit lazy and if I don't need to pull a mirror out of my bag as well as my lipstick, then it's kind of a bit of a bonus for me. This next one is probably one of my favorite shades that I've got and it is called Runway Hit and this is one of the retro matte formulas. Personally, I hate the formula of this lipstick, unfortunately, which is so annoying as I do love the color so much. I tend to wear it actually with a little bit of the Nooks Rev de Mille lip balm underneath as that just tends to make it have a little bit more of a satin rather than a extremely matte finish. If you're not familiar with the retro matte finishes, they are very, very drying and also a little bit chalky and difficult to apply to your lips, or at least in my experience. I used to have Ruby Woo years ago. That was probably the second matte lipstick I picked up and I hated it and it actually was so dry that the lipstick broke from the bullet. This is just one of my all-round favorite shades from MAC, so I kind of will forgive the fact that it's a retro matte because I can wear it with a lip balm. This next lipstick is actually what I've got on my lips today and it is MAC's Velvet Teddy and I'd be very surprised if you haven't heard of this one already. It is possibly one of my favorites. I think it's a really great entry level brown nude lipstick if you're really wanting to get into that look. It's very on trend at the moment. Kind of hate myself for having to say that but it is and I do really really like the formula of the matte lipsticks from MAC. I find that they're a lot creamier than other matte lipsticks that I've tried and they don't necessarily have that very matte finish on your lips. They aren't necessarily super drying like I don't know I feel like it's quite creamy to wear so these are very comfortable and yeah I really love the color of this and the color payoff is excellent as well. It's very very pigmented. These next two lipsticks I'm going to show you guys are going to look very very similar. The first one is Cosmo and this is one of the amplified lipsticks and this is sort of like a brown toned mauve. I really quite like this. It's a little bit darker than what I've got on my lips today. I do think the amplified formulas are quite gorgeous. They're very, very pigmented. You just need one swipe across your lips to have a really full on color. And they're also very moisturizing and creamy. Uh, this one, yeah, I think it's just a really pretty kind of everyday shade, particularly when you're going into autumn and winter. Actually, just so that I can compare it with the next one that I've got here, which is twig which is a satin finish you can kind of see they're very very similar so twig is this one here and it's slightly darker a little bit more I guess purpley based but hardly it's more of a true mauve actually when I think about it 
but this is quite nice being a satin finish it does mean that you have to reapply it throughout the day again very very pigmented if you don't know that much about MAC lipsticks I do think they've got really great formulas and there's so many different options as well from the lustrous cream sheets to the mattes and satin finishes there's gonna kind of be something for everybody yeah I really do love this one as well and although you kind of question why I've got two lipsticks that look almost the same this next one is another one of the amplified lipsticks and this is in the shade Craving and this is almost like a berry raspberry kind of a shade, raspberry mauve should I say. And this was my third or fourth, no fourth MAC lipstick I think that I ever picked up. I kind of just picked it up on a whim. I haven't actually worn it that much to be completely honest because I picked it up in I think October last year and it's much more of a wintry shade because it does have that kind of very berry type of hue to it. So I'm really looking forward to wearing this a bit more as the weather starts to cool down here in Sydney. So my next lipstick that I've got from MAC is one of their Pro Longwear lipsticks and this actually has a very special place in my heart because it was one that I picked up before Luke and I went over to the UK for his best friend's wedding. So that was before our very first international trip together. And this is in the shade Positively Dashing and this is a really beautiful berry shade. I'm really looking forward to wearing this over the winter time as it's just a really, really flattering kind of a color. It's very creamy. You definitely need to top this up during the day though, but it does dry down to a really nice semi-matte kind of finish. And the last shade that I've got to share with you guys is called Dozen Carnations and this is another cream sheen lipstick and this is one of the newer ones in my collection and I love this. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. You can really build up the color. It's such a vibrant orange toned red. It's got some little orange sparkles through it but I don't really find that those translate on the lips which I think is one of the really genius things about their cream sheen formulas. But I really, really like this and again, like Shanghai Spice, this is super moisturizing and it doesn't dry out your lips at all. So that was my entire MAC lipstick collection. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this video and as I said before, do not forget to check out Doris's channel and her MAC lipstick collection which you know is going to be absolutely amazing. If you guys did enjoy it, please give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more from me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!